executives become insulated and isolated. A fourth factor that often leads to business strategy failure is that executives become isolated and as a result lose touch with their organizations. As business organizations increasingly become the result of mergers, consolidations, and acquisitions over organic growth, 5 it becomes increasingly difficult for executives to really know what is going on deep in their organizations. Not only is it lonely at the top, but executives can also become increasingly insulated. Some, like the now infamous CEOs of Lehman Brothers or AIG, may isolate themselves on purpose, but generally it is simply more difficult to stay in touch as an organization grows. Too many layers and too many players not only dilute the messages going out from the senior leadership, but can also filter and distort feedback coming in. When one of us joined a large publicly held company as a senior vice president, SVP, she experienced firsthand how many layers in an organization can dramatically slow down the workflow. Still new to the organization and just getting to know her team, she received a work assignment that required some specialized computer skills. She inquired and learned that a member of her staff had such skills. She approached the individual whose workstation was just a few steps away and asked for help. The staff member replied that the SVP would need to check with the staff member's supervisor first. And so off the SVP went to the supervisor. She quickly learned that the individual she first approached reported to someone, who reported to someone, who reported to someone, who reported to someone, who reported to someone, sigh who reported to the SVP. In a team of nine, there were seven layers of management. What should have been a ten-minute conversation turned into an hour. An illuminating hour, to be sure, especially since the SVP would later be charged with streamlining the organization and reducing unnecessary layers. She knew a good place to start. In addition to the primarily top-down flow of communication, Many large organizations have little or no two-way communication, no listening posts to identify the concerns and questions of the workforce and mid-level managers. If leaders make an effort to understand the concerns of middle managers and individual contributors, they not only create cohesion deeper in the organization but they also become better equipped to remove barriers to progress. Absent two-way communication with appropriate feedback loops, their leadership is hollow, leadership by exhortation rather than by example, inspiration, or vision. Moreover, executives may think that more communication is better communication, not realizing that multiple messages and channels can actually reduce effectiveness. In one large organization, 60,000 employees with five business units, a new head of internal communication conducted an audit to determine how many communication vehicles existed. His study revealed that over 270 formal communication publications, both print and electronic, were developed and delivered regularly. The cost and confusion of so many messages actually diminished understanding of the business strategy and limited real traction and results. 